nowhere to go. Oh, exhausted. change of outfit! Oh my god, it's mi minus 20 degrees. I hope that I could rest for a couple of hours. At least it's place. Get my energy back and figure out what to do next. Ah, Tiffany. Only been who the hell is Tiffany? I've forgotten who Tiffany is. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this was the street. Oh, is this his attempt at going incognito? Is to just, like, put on a different jumper and shave a bit? Oh. I'm in disguise as um, the fucking guy from Watch Dogs. No one will. I've got his iconic baseball cap on. No one will ever suspect I'm anyone else. If anything, though, he's such an iconic character with his iconic baseball cap that everyone will run up to Lucas and want to get his autograph because they think he's the Watch Dogs guy. Because he's so iconic, isn't he, Ubisoft? Hello. Another homeless person. I get the feeling they're everywhere. And they're watching me. <laughs> yes, so they're everywhere. They're literally the same guy with the same model. <laughs> this car over here is literally just buried by snow. Uh oh. The police. They're watching Tiffany's apartment, of course. Well, yeah. They assumed that I'd show up here looking for a place to hide. To find another way in. Um, so like an alley or something is my only idea. <laughs> With my kung fu powers, I could presumably climb up. Aha! I know how video games work. Oh. As this mini game was so exciting and the flashback to like World War Two we had earlier. Oh no, uh, uh, there you go. Ah. Don't feel like anything's gonna be exciting as the fucking Matrix car chase. Unless it's a sex scene, come on, sex scene. <laughs> Climb the fence, do it for the sex scene. Oh, oh. There we are. Matthew! Hello! Are you here for the sex scene too? Fuck! I am the sex scene! Oh no! <laughs> so I don't want... that's not a relationship. You know, that's that's not the direction I wanted our relationship to go, Matthew. Oh. Oh, right. Lucas doesn't like birds, unlike me. The police. There must be some way to get around. Thank you. Look forward to a terrible stealth section. <laughs> Hang on. Well, it's a good thing they have no peripheral vision. They're just <laughs> they're like me in that last sequence. Play too much Resistance 3, they have no peripheral vision. <laughs> You're not exactly Sly Cooper, Lucas. Again, why can't you just jump the fucking building like you did earlier? Yep. <laughs> This is even more fun than it looks like, guys. Just, oh god. <laughs> We're not reached the top yet. Oh, and then they just cut awkwardly to being up here. Yeah. It occurred to me the other day, I think I mentioned last time I'd played the entirety of Resistance, not Resistance 3, Uncharted 3 in about a week. And it was just like, it was fun, but it was just the same game. Like, and the story was so weirdly... If you're not going to have a story in your game, if you're not going to put any effort into the story, don't like have a bunch of cutscenes that feels like you think you have a good story. You know? There are so many games that are like, look at our incredible story with 12 hours of cutscenes. I'm like, you have no story! <laughs> what are these quick time events for? Like, don't take a dump on them from the roof. Like, congratulations, you didn't take a dump on them from the roof. <laughs> Why do you want to bet I'll climb into this poor woman's flat and she's like having a shower or something? She's like, I don't want to see my murderous ex boyfriend actually. I also didn't realize there was a time limit on this section, otherwise, I wouldn't have talked as much. Like, what's going to happen? Are they just going to uh, look up or something? Uh, oh no. Oh no, now to agonizingly climb down. Oh my god. This is so exciting, guys. 
<laughs> it's not even tense or anything. Like, they give you this little time limit, but it's so generous. I'm expecting them to suddenly pull a switcheroo on me and be like, Now you have to do the mouse up, but I won't be paying attention. Oh, there we go, you have to do it down. I wasn't... Ah, I called it. I want him to land and they just go, Hey, it's you! <laughs> and turn around. Because, funnily enough, they just looked slightly to the left and saw him. Oh, really? <sighs> David Cage, were you really proud of this mechanic or something? <sighs> and then I fell flat on my ass and they caught me. And that's how my story ends. The stupidest way possible. <laughs> I was gonna climb into someone's window there and be like... Oh no. Oh no. Is this another pipe to climb up? Maybe when I get into my ex-girlfriend's flat she'll climb my pipe. Uh... What the fuck? I have to use a, a thing and break a window. That window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. So... Find a way to open it, you mean... Is my only option really to smash the window open? Is that seriously what's gonna happen? Oh, okay. At least it's a small smash. I thought it was just gonna be like, <laughs> football hooligan smash the window. Well, uh, I'm sure she won't mind you breaking her window. It's gonna create a draft, you know. I'm not clear why you think Tiffany is even willing to help you. You are exes. Oh, you climbed into a two dimensional painting. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's clearly a 2D image. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. I'm starting to feel weak and tired waiting for this story to do something. No, I should not complain. The story is actually doing stuff. Um, hmm. Oh, God. That's some very scientific porn she's got there. Oh, I can't remember. Is she an archaeologist or something? Oh, God. Get ready. You're having a migraine. Do the quick time event for the migraine. Oh, well, okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Failed. Oh. Oh, I'm naked! Oh, gosh, he has the biggest flat in the world, too! <laughs> he didn't get very far painting this place. <laughs> I love that, that that scene in that Simpsons episode where um, the Flanders move into the murder house and <laughs> Marge walks in and they're all just lying around covered in red stuff. <laughs> and she screams and like, oh, hey, Marge, we were just painting the walls red and just felt the need to lie down and have a, have a rest. <laughs> And there's a strange recurring joke with Flanders screams like a girl. Um, milk. Again, I'm sure she won't mind you just sh taking her shit. Delicious milk. The only constant happiness in my life, other than duck soup, which was cruelly taken away from me before my time. <laughs> and always like, no one must take my sandwich, I will look over my shoulder. <laughs> it's not duck soup, but it will suffice. Can I have more milk? That's weird. I like how he leaves one sandwich just in case she wants one. Okay. Thanks guys. <laughs> this is this has been really good. Had a lot of good good times. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. No duck soup at all. I'm literally just raiding her cupboard hoping there's duck soup. There's, there's glucose, toz. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, is it duck soup? It, it might actually be. It's like dog food or something. Oh god, is it duck soup? No, it's like Nutella or something. Oh, that's no fun. Because it looked like a, 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 a tin, and I was like, oh, could it be? Could the legends be true? Hello, ex-girlfriend. I'm, I'm your ex-murderer boyfriend. ex -murderer. No, I'm, I'm a constant murderer. I'm mean, your ex-boyfriend who is a murderer. Oh, for God's sake. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> Hello? Are you in the toilet? No? Are you drowning in the toilet? No? I'm running out of... Oh, dear. And for an expert's point of view on the subject, 
Uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor it's gonna be her. Oh, no. of the Mesoamerican University here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan civilization. Yeah, yeah, we're both good subjects. It's most fascinating. A specialist in Mayan civilization. He'd know what Kekniklan means. Because <laughs> fucking Google doesn't exist. He's an esteemed Klingon professor. Oh. Oh, there she is. Damn, I forgot how fit she was. <laughs> I'm playing the wrong character. Oh, damn. You scared me. What are you doing here? Put your arms up or something. Looking for me. Oh. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. Lucas, what happened to you? You were not explaining yourself saying well. That you killed several people. Is it true? The whole thing is She's not seeming very outraged. All I can tell you it's is complicated, I baby. I killed them and then the police took issue with it for some reason. doing what they said you did, Lucas. You have to explain. You have to tell them you're innocent. Her voice sounds like a dude trying to put on a lady's exactly voice. What's happened to which I wouldn't know anything about. That's Shifty eyes. I can prove my innocence. Oh. Oh, fuck. Quick, hide in the fridge. Uh. Lucas, it's the police. What are we gonna do? Look. I'm sure they just want to ask you a few questions. Just stay calm, Tiffany, and answer their questions. I'll I'll hide in the apartment. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Duh, duh, duh. This Ms. is Harper? oddly. Miss Harper, are you home? Oddly yes. familiar. Just oh a no. Second. I'm <laughs> a second. I'm coming. Um. I'm not convinced this is the best hiding place, Lucas. Um. Uh. Wait. Ah. What? Uh, is this what? Is this is this what? what, what where did where, where was that option? Ha. Ah. Um. That's okay, honestly. Um. I just. Yes, I can't keep them waiting anymore. I've got to open the door. Da -da 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 -da. I think I accidentally stayed when I meant to leave. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Is there a man behind your curtains? Miss Harper. Yes. I'm Detective Ty. <gasps> Da da da! <laughs> that was a good twist. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? Look, we shagged we once, that doesn't make us romantic. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Oh, King? <laughs> sorry, that was me clinking a teacup. I went by his apartment day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly spoke. I haven't heard from him since. He said something about murdering some people. I didn't really well, pay attention. It's just that hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh, get ready. What do you mean get ready? What am I doing? I don't understand what I'm doing. Like am I just not breathing, I guess? Must resist urge to fart. Uh, hold it in, Lucas. Your life depends on it. Doing a little redecorating? Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to. And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. So I completely imagine she's an archaeologist then. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Archaeology is very similar to nursing. Um. What was I watching where it was like, archaeology is just window? a very patient thief? Oh, oh that was Doctor Who! I broke the glass while moving some furniture last night. The window repairman promised to stop in today, but I guess he forgot me. It's vaguely suspicious. <laughs> I love the quick time event, it's just like, it's a quick time event for not doing anything, basically. <laughs> It's just bafflingly weird design. Yes, I'm glad I didn't try to hide under the bed. That would have been a bit obvious. Oh, fuck me, really. 
Like, am I just gonna sneeze or something if I cock up this? Um, it reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 2, where if you catch a cold, you'll sneeze. Please call me right away. Or Snake Eater, where if you get really hungry, your stomach gurgles, and the first time that happens, you're like, What? What? I just gave away my position? What the hell just happened? And then... Be careful, miss. Kane's a very dangerous man. He's a fucking vampire lord, of course he's dangerous. Oh god, that explains so much, he's a vampire lord. He's the guy with <gasps> Two snakes! Coming together! Oh my god. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection. There's a surprising be number of location point variety point in this point. session. But at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation. It's Carl Sagan. Sense out of the There's a stupid life. advert on YouTube like Kitty Kitten University. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist. And it literally, and it lit there's a professor, professor at one point who looks exactly like Carl Sagan. Oh my God, it's Professor X. So that's the twist. Is he, he the guard is actually the professor? It's like Queen Amidala and Padme. That stupid plot twist that made no sense and was very confusing. Uh, I do like that moment of the Phantom Menace. Like, you know that really ca boring queen character? She's not the queen at all. It's actually this other boring character. Oh my god. Oh god, that was the other thing about Resistance 3 that really confused me. Like, they changed the protagonist due to spoiler reasons from Resistance 2. And then he seems to be functionally exactly the same bland white man character. <laughs> it's just funny to me how they make this big fuss about now we've got a new For protagonist. And his soul defining characteristic is like, I have a family. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's weird to me. Anyway, I'm not paying any attention to what these guys, this guy's saying. What the hell is this over here? Ooh. It's like it's one of those three D bookmarks. Uh, I don't like those because it seems like they'd be very distracting. Mm. Hello, Professor Kuryakin. Oh, you're that yeah. murderer from the news. My Can I have your John autograph? Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. John I'm Cunningham. And I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What? Um, I've been what waiting billions and billions of minutes for again? you. Uh, freelance. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles. Yeah, don't don't make it something he'd have heard of. Wants to publish them. It's uh, it's curious, but your face. That apostrophe is that's the wrong your. That's the wrong your. Uh, wrong your. Somewhere before. Uh, joking. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must. Have I must be one of those murderers everyone knows. He's everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> that's, that's not what I'm here for at all. Anything about of course. I did like that scene in X Files where Mulder's investigating some guy's friend. Some guy died, and he's talking to his friend, and then the friend suddenly starts going down on him, and Mulder's like, "Whoa! I didn't realize that was what was going on between you two. That's not what I'm here for." <laughs> I love it. the guy's like, "Let's get it over with," and I'm like, "Whoa! Hang on!" <laughs> Just. just Suddenly, blowjob. Also, where did the professor actually go? Oh wait. I'm closer, young man. <laughs> I, I'm I literally trying to find you. And stranger. <laughs> I'm literally. Where, where are you? Are you over here? The fucking the fucking camera. Oh God's sake! Hello. You see before. I literally lost him because the camera is just so terrible. <laughs> Yes, yes, the two snakes coming One together. Head sees in this reality the second in the other world. The dark world. That is I laughed so hard when I heard that that was the subtitle to the Thor movie sequel thing. He's like Thor the Dark World. Other worlds. Other world. Oh the you seen the Matrix, it's like that. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believe that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. This rings a bell. Uh, what oracles. exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. Can believe the ancient texts. Which we can't. Oracles possessed uh, strange powers. 
What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force permitting the oracle to live for several hundred billions and billions of years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Well, they got us a fucker and he killed him in a ceremony. It's not that. Here, let me show you in grisly detail. Do you okay? <laughs> this journalist gets stranger and stranger. A dating from the first century BC shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long Oof. as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, Oof. each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Ooh. This doesn't sound familiar at all. How did the ritual sacrifice work? Oh, the oracle must never soil himself <laughs> with the blood of another. Soil himself. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The oracle takes complete control. Assuming direct control. Manipulating him from a distance. Uh, what happened to the executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the race. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh card over there. Yes, the rare and famous Yu-Gi-Oh cards of the Mayan civilization. You are <sighs> I can't believe it's the fucking Mayans. Who David Cage, really? Uh, truth. My name is Lucas Kane. Oh shit, I didn't think that truth. Did commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? Huh? But, but that's completely impossible. Uh, Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh. It's the symbol of Quagnitlan. It's the symbol of Kakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
No, I strongly suspect something's gone wrong. Um, yeah, that's odd. Oh well, we gotta do. Uh, I can actually stop Shadow Play now, of course. Um, yes. There we go. Well, <laughs> another technical difficulties ending. I don't know what it is about this game in particular. It seems to just constantly go wrong on the recording. But yeah, I can't say some interesting shit didn't happen. There was also a lot of really slow climbing of fences. But hey, that's... You know, obviously I just don't understand all the emotions that David Cage is packing into every pixel. Every pixel of his movie. Not a game, a movie. How many emotions is people? That is the question that David Cage poses to the world. And I don't know, David Cage. Your 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 intellect is beyond my mere mortal understanding. Well, no doubt we'll catch up again. Uh hope you enjoyed. It becomes increasingly hard to think of ways to end these episodes. I will say I'm so fucking glad the plot is going somewhere now. I'm not convinced my choices make a whole bunch of difference, but hey. <laughs> so long as some sort of resolution comes, that's fine. Yeah, that was quite an action-packed session, so can't complain. See y'alls later, and uh, stay fabulous.